Problem 3.51 or 4.51 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this problem, there is a piston cylinder device that contains 0 0.005 meter cube of liquid water and 0.9 meter cube of water vapor at equilibrium at 600 kilopascals. Heat is then transferred at a constant pressure until the temperature reaches 200 Celsius. We need to determine what is the initial temperature of water, we need to determine what is the total mass of the water, calculate the final volume, and also describe the process showing it in a PV diagram. Let's just start with the information provided for state one. For state one, we were given the volume for the liquid water. We were also given the volume for the vapor uh, water at that stage. Since we have two, this indicates that at state one, this is going to be a saturated mixture. Also for this state, the pressure is provided. Since pressure is provided, we're going to re obtain the rest of the quantities by using table A5. So we go to this table and we go to the pressure of 600 kilopascals and we find that the temperature is equal to 158.83 Celsius. That is going to be our saturated uh, temperature. The next step is for us to be able to find the mass and the volume. For that, we're going to use the, the values of the saturated, of, I'm sorry, the specific volume for the liquid and also for the vapor. Once we have the values of the specific volumes, we're able to find the masses of each phase by simply saying the mass of the liquid part is going to be the total volume, of the liquid, divided by the specific volume of the liquid. And this is going to give us 4.543 kilograms. And we do the same thing for the vapor. The mass of the vapor is going to be the total volume of the vapor divided by the specific volume of the vapor and once again this is going to give us 2.852 uh, kilograms to find the total mass we simply add these two values and the total mass is simply going to be 7.395 kilograms for state two we know that the pressure remains constant, so the pressure once again is going to be 600 kilopascals. And we will also given that the temperature at that particular point, at that particular state, is equal to 200 Celsius. Therefore, we're going to go to table A5 in order to determine what is the phase of this particular state. For this state, once again, we go to table A5. Uh, we have the pressure of 600 kilopascals. And the, at this point, the saturated temperature is equal to 158.83. And the given temperature that we have for this state is equal to 200 kilopascals. Since the working temperature is greater than the saturated uh, temperature, it means that we have a superheated vapor. Therefore, we have to go to table A6. We are in table A6, and we look for the value of the pressure, which is equal to 0.6 megapascals. And we find the temperature to be 200. We go across to here, and the first value is going to be the one for the specific volume, which is equal to 0.35212. So this is the specific volume for state two, and that's what we're going to use to calculate the volume in this particular state. So once we have the specific volume in this state, we're going to be able to find the total volume by simply multiplying the value of the specific volume in this state times the total mass. We take the values that we obtained from the previous step times this value, we find that the total volume is equal to 2.604 meter cubed. The last stage is to draw a PV diagram. So we have pressure in kilopascals and a specific volume in terms of meter cubed kilogram and then we have straight lines and then we have that state one was started at 200 uh, kilopascals and it was a saturated mixture so somewhere over here and then eating it had heat added into it and the pressure was maintained constant and then it became a superheated 
paper. So this is the drawing of your PV diagram. This is a state one, and this is a state two.